Here's our rope lighting we're going to install. And it doesn't take a whole lot of things to install this. This comes in the little container, uh, these little plastic holders. They're really small, they're kind of like a U-shaped deal. And you can screw those on to your deck, rail, or whatever, trim on your house, however. And then that snaps on there like that, and you can do it that way. Um, I'm choosing not to do that. There's not a whole lot of these clips, and I'm going to have this, I'm going to lay this horizontally. What I want is it nice and straight. I don't want it to sag at all, so I would have to use a whole lot of these, which I don't have. It only came with a handful in the, in the bag, and you can't, I didn't see any places that you could buy those separately, so. And they only attach with some really super small screws. I, I, would, I would have a tendency to think that these are going to snap off, possibly. And, and I'm not going to put this, I'm not going to install this temporarily on the rail. This is going to be something that's going to be on the rail year round. So I went to the hardware store and I bought some little uh, cable clamps. And I got some whitish clear ones. And I'm going to put that over that like that. That's going to bond it on there. And then I also, I'm going to put these every so often. Keeping track of where the light the actual lights are because I don't want to cover up one of those lights. I've got to do it in strategic locations in between two lights, you know, and uh, I'm going to do it with that. And these didn't come with any screws, but I went to the hardware store. I got some screws and um, I'm going to use these screws for this. And incidentally, I got, uh, there's probably a hundred in this container. I don't think I'm going to need a hundred. But, just a tip for you, when you go to the store to buy any type of screw, if you only need, say you need 25, 30 screws, you might want to think about buying 100 screws so that you have some for your next project or whatever. And generally, buying a little container like this, this has 100 screws in it, um, is usually cheaper than buying 50 screws, like in little individual packages you might buy 12 to 15 or whatever you buy a whole container like this it's way cheaper so I always kind of do that because I always have other little projects I can I can use the rest of the screws for so that's what I'm gonna do okay so I got plenty of these clamps I didn't know how many of these clamps I'm gonna need so I always make sure I get extra clamps and um, that way if I, if I don't have to get into another bag, I can always take those back to the store. No big deal. And uh, this rope lighting, it's called Super Bright, and this is 24-foot rope light kit. Uh, the rope lighting has little ends on there, so if you want to attach another uh, rope to it, you can unscrew that and screw another one in. It's hooked up by an extension cord at one end of it. So... Uh, uh, what I did is I measured my project first to see what, what length I needed and at the store, this one's 24 foot, they also had different increments. Um, you just have to go to the store and see what they have and then uh, go from there. And I think 24 feet for me, I think I measured 22 to 23 feet. So I got just enough and um, that's going to do my project. Now they also make this in LED style. These aren't LED, they're regular lights, but I don't think it's gonna take that much power. But I could have gotten LEDs, but then the light rope would have cost me about two thirds more. So, I mean, that's an option for you if you're really energy conscious, conscious about it. And, uh, you know, I may, if I ever put some more rope lighting up, I might get the LEDs to see how much, uh, how, how bright the lights are. I don't know if they're as bright as this. So, so I decided to just get the regular light kit.